I will explain what is constructor in Java. In Java, constructor is a special method which is executed when an object is created. Let's go ahead and create a class and see how constructors work. I created a student class. Let's have a main method for executing this code. And uh, let's define a constructor. Constructor name is exactly same as class name. It should not have a written type such as void or int, string, etc. It should not have that. And I'm defining a default constructor here. Default constructor means a constructor that takes no arguments. And I said constructors are executed when object is created. To test this code, let's create an object. And uh, after new keyword, notice this, this is exactly the call to default constructor. So when I execute this, at the time of creating this object, it calls the constructor, default constructor. Let's save and execute this code. And you see there, it's calling the constructor and we see sysout inside the constructor. Well, what is the purpose of constructors? In all cases, we may not need constructors, but in some cases, we may need constructors to initialize an object. For example, along with default constructor, let me add one more constructor with parameters. Now we can't uh, define default constructor twice uh, because it creates a conflict. So this one, I make a change. And uh, this constructor takes name. And let's print that name. All right. While creating object, you either use default constructor or a parameterized constructor so in first statement here we are creating default constructor now let's create a parameterized constructor and make sure you're passing arguments to call this parameterized constructor which takes a string And for yes1, it calls default constructor. And for student yes2, it calls parameterized constructor. Let's execute this. Perfect. So we got the output from default constructor followed by the output from parameterized constructor. Okay. So let me extend this example and uh, let us see some real usage of uh, constructors. Let's take a scenario where I want to initialize the student details while creating the object of student. So for time being, so let me define few properties for a student such as name, age uh, for name let that be string for age let that be integer so in default constructor i don't want to initialize anything i want to create empty student object 
and coming to parameterize constructor I want to initialize the name and the age so the parameterize constructor should take two arguments for 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 initializing with name and age so here name is instance variable which is at class level object level actually and age is also instance level which is at object level but the parameters in this uh, constructor they are local they are local to this constructor now we have a conflict means name of the <coughs> name of the local variable and its instance variable are same so when I use name inside constructor now the question is is this name referring to local name or instance name so for such situations we use this keyword so this dot name I'll explain uh, this keyword I'll explain this keyword in a separate video but in this case right this dot name represents the object level uh, variable equals name so what we are doing is we are taking the name coming uh, to this constructor assigning to that we are taking name from this constructor and assigning it to the instance variable so likewise we use this dot age so this dot age is this one and equals age and this just age is the local uh, variable inside this constructor so now we changed the parameterized constructor that takes name and age of course when you create object uh, for time being let us not use default if you wish you can still use default constructor because it is there for this demonstration I want to use parameterized constructor student it takes two arguments name and age so I am creating student object with name Heshvi and age 6 so likewise I can create n number of student objects for example uh, I have about 100 students information at Java level we can store 100 students information by creating 100 student objects so now inside this student object the name is Heshvi and the age is 6 let's see by printing it yes one dot name it should print Heshvi and yes one dot age it should print the age let's execute this so we got the expected output so likewise we can go ahead and create more and more objects by storing more and more students information thanks for watching and we'll see you again in next video